Boxing Media in association with Boxro. Andrew Tapiti, you've gone and got a win at heavyweight. Uh, just talk me through quickly about that performance. Um, the performance, I think it was good. Um, you know, um, there's some things I could still work on, but um, we got the job done. Um, obviously, James came in at 12 days notice. It looked like he was trying to just take it really slow and it looked like he didn't have a lot of stamina. Did you pick up on that early or did you think he had some sort of game plan? Yeah, um, that's, that's probably the case. He, he had too much stamina. Also, I was going to the body, hitting with some hard body shots, you know. That's, that was going to mess up his stamina. Um, with, the, with the heavyweight division, I, I basically, I basically um, took Tyrone Spong. I, I think that was a good opportunity for me. Um, so I wasn't really in my mind to try to campaign at the heavyweight division. But, you know, if I could get fights like that, Tyrone Spong or a guy, you know, smaller heavyweights with, with the same type of experience as me, then I, I could take it. There was a point where your coach said he's tired. I think it was around around 2 or 3. Is that, was that your green light to say, I want to go for the kill? Yes, um, my coach, he just told me, yo, this this time around. First, he told me to just uh, take my time, keep my hands up, you know what I'm saying, be, just be cautious. Then he started seeing that he was getting tired. So we started, going at, we started throwing the hands more. It was the first time James fought in over three and a half years. Did you feel any power from him? Um, did you feel like he had some sort of skill, or, and could he could he do something at heavyweight against you know a different type of caliber opponents? You know, um, the heavyweight division um, is it's stacked right now. Um, I, I won't say he can uh, compete with them guys, but um, you know he definitely has power. He's, he's he's a big dude, and uh, I knew one shot, you know, you know could change the game. Definitely, and on yourself now. I know you mentioned Lawrence and Coley before. You, you, you're interested in that sort of type of fight, but Bridgeweight as well. But realistically, what do you think is possible for you next? Um, I, I just I just like to fight. I just like I fight Bridgeweight, Oscar Rivas. You know, uh, Lawrence. You know, that's, that's my guy. You know, I don't think it's a fight that you know I'm really looking for. But um, we could fight. We could fight um, other cruiserweights with the title. And you know, if if a fight like that. If, if it's if it's something that that's um, that the fans want with me and Lawrence, and that's that's cool, but that's not a fight that I'm really looking for. Yeah. And a quick word from the smartest person in the building. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? So look, let me hold it. Let me tell y'all something. My name Cello. This Andrew the Beast Tabidi, and we out here in Saudi Arabia. I love Saudi Arabia. I love it out here. The people are very kind, and we came out here to do a job, and we got the job done. Thank you, Saudi Arabia. Thank you, Prince Khaled. Thank you, Princess. We love you guys. Peace. You gotta finish with something in Arabic. Oh, okay. Teach me something. <laughs> you must know something. Inshallah. There you go. <laughs>